you guys so much for being patient while I am slightly delayed in getting my January Beauty Heroes review up. But what that basically means is that I've just had a little bit longer to test out the product and fully form some opinions on it. With barely an intro, why don't we just get into talking about the January Beauty Heroes box. At this point, obviously everybody knows what's in the box, the brand that's being featured, and I have to say, Maya Chia is one of the brands that I get asked about the most of brands that I have not tried. I would say I get asked the most about Mahalo, which I have a lot of experience with. I'm trying to think of what other brands people tend to ask a lot about. Recently, people have been asking a lot about a brand called Siam Seas as well, which I haven't tried. But Maya Chia is way at the top of brands that everybody seems very, very interested in. I know that other bloggers have really positively reviewed Maya Chia's products in the past, and I think that that's where a lot of that interest stems from. I know that there has also been a lot of interest in the green beauty community around Chia oil. My first experience with Chia oil was in the One Love Organics products. I think I had even gone through a bottle of some of their Chia oil or something. Anyway, not the point of this video. I was so thrilled to open up this box and see that this brand was featured this month. I actually knew that it was a brand sort of in the works for Beauty Heroes. I remember when I first learned about Maya Chia, it was through a post on Beauty Bar's Instagram page. And right away, it was the first time I had ever heard of the brand. And just like the branding alone, I was like, oh my gosh. And ironically, I was already working with Beauty Heroes at the time. I think this was last year. I sent the post to Jeannie and I was like, I feel like this brand looks amazing. And she was like, they just contacted me and they're, they want to work together. And so, and that was like a year ago. And Jeannie did tell us in the brand ambassador page that they have been working on this since March of 2016. So the timing all kind of makes sense now that I think about it. Anyway, just a little anecdotal backstory about my impressions of this brand and how thrilled I was to see it in the box. I don't know, you know, if many of you had already had experience with Maya Chia, if you've purchased these products, it's a very, very small range, as you probably know. But the hero product for this month, Jeannie selected the Super Couple Oil by Maya Chia, which is a combination of their specially produced chia oil, which I will get into, and astaxanthin. I think that's how you pronounce it. So Maya Chia only has two face oils in their range. This one, and then they have just a pure super critical omega-3 chia oil. So it's the same face oil, I believe, without the astaxanthin in it, but I'll get into the ingredients in a minute. And then the sidekick this month is the Super Critical Chia Waterless Wonder Balm Limited Edition. So they do have a balm in their permanent range, but this just has a limited edition essential oil blend in it, exclusive to the Beauty Heroes box. You may notice something a little bit different about the Beauty Heroes packaging this month. And I just thought I would address it quickly. They have decided to discontinue the use of the sort of Beauty Heroes iconic uh, face masks that were coming in all of the boxes. Instead now, what's coming is a very sort of nicely produced on some nice silky cardstock. They're calling this a keepable Herogram card. It was a decision that I think Jeannie thought very long and hard about since the masks have been such sort of a unique touch to especially their social media promotion and the herograms and things like that. But one of the main tenets of Beauty Heroes and of Jeannie's vision for Beauty Heroes is to use less and love more and kind of have really encapsulate a mindful approach to consumption. And that was what sort of underlied the decision to discontinue the masks and replace them with these cards. If you would like to read more, I believe Jeannie did do a blog post kind of sharing her perspective on the packaging and branding decision, if you'd like to hear more. I, for one, I mean, I'm totally okay with the cards replacing the masks if it means that it's coming from a more sort of sustainable, mindful production consumption perspective. I'm totally okay with that. Jeannie had some nice ideas for these cards, saying they can be kept in a journal, on a vision board, on your bedside table. You could tape them into a bullet journal or a planner if you're into that kind of thing. So I just wanted to sort of mention the shift because I, for one, am always sort of very attuned to packaging. And I, again, just always want to take every opportunity I can to 
applaud Jeannie for sort of just really having so much integrity with her business. I mean, it's not an easy thing to promote a business with a foundation of consuming less, but I think she's really at the forefront of that sort of mindful ethical consumption, and I just wanted to share that. Now we shall talk about the two Maya Chia products in the box this month. So I, as soon as I got the box, I read the insert and then I went on and I Googled what other reviews had been done on these. And I read Beauty by Britney's review, which is very, very glowing, Kimberly Locke's review. And then I think I read, who's the other one? Sarita Cohen. They all had very glowing reviews of these. The founder of Maya Chia is a woman by the name of Suzanne Norwitz. She actually has a background in both politics and corporate America. So I read in, I think it was Beauty by Britney's interview, <laughs> that Suzanne Norwitz used to be a speechwriter for Rudolph Giuliani. <laughs> when I read that, it was kind of like, politics aside. She then went on to work, I believe, for Kellogg and uh, maybe Kashi specifically, which is a subsidiary of Kellogg. Anyway, long story short, she spent ample time in the corporate world and then decided to pursue her passion for skincare. And I guess, if I'm remembering correctly, her proclivity towards chia oil came from her father's trips to Guatemala, I believe, where he was a doctor and would do corrective cleft palate surgeries. That's what's in my head, and I hope the details of that are right. But I believe she grew up going to Central America, and chia is very, very well known and prized and used in that region. As far as I know, it's like an ancient superfood. Quick side note, I had every intention of doing this cute little addendum to this video where I showed you guys my favorite chia pudding recipe. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to throw that in, but if not, maybe I'll do it in a separate video because I'm a big fan of consuming chia internally and it always bothers me when people don't bloom the chia first to ingest it. Like just putting chia seeds into straight into a smoothie or like just taking a spoonful of chia seeds, you need to let the chia seeds soak up some liquid and bloom for them to be nicely digested anyway. Okay, so about the super couple. This is said to instantly revitalize dry and dull skin, visibly repair and prevent skin damage, and hydrate the skin to keep it supple and glowing. It's a combination of chia seed oil that is extracted and produced in this special patented way. They call it the super critical extraction method that uses no chemicals or solvents and keeps the integrity of the oil as close to its original plant-based form. All of the chia used in Maya Chia's products are sourced from sustainable cooperatives in Central and South America and she also donates a portion of the company's net profits to organizations that build farms and schools in Mayan communities. I always appreciate companies that give a percentage of proceeds back to a good cause. The other star of this formulation is astaxanthin, which is derived from microalgae and contains over 65 times the antioxidant levels of vitamin C. Also in here are 12 other skin-supporting botanicals including jasmine, Bulgarian rose, citrus, Roman and German chamomile, carrot and carrot seed oil. So all of these things are targeted at hyperpigmentation, inflammation, and improving skin health and vitality. And this retails for $85. I believe the super critical chia oil is $60. And then just a little bit about the balm. This is described as a versatile and unisex all-purpose balm, which uses supercritical small particle chia oil. The directions are to apply all over as a spot treatment on any desired area of the body to achieve nourished, hydrated, and rejuvenated skin. As I said, this is exclusive to Beauty Heroes, this special edition scent, which is characterized by calming and grounding lavender, vetiver, patchouli, rose geranium, cardamom, and roman chamomile 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 so as far as i know you can use the super couple morning or evening there's not an issue in where you put it in your skincare routine for me this sits as a hybrid serum moisture step you're just supposed to apply it directly onto clean skin after toner 
half a dropper full pressed into the face. Okay, so why don't I now tell you a bit about my experience with these. This arrived right before I left for Christmas travels. I was taking off to San Antonio for four or five days. This came like the day before, so I threw it into my bag as my serum step. I, okay, just a bit about what's going on with my skin. It was really, really good for the month of December and it actually behaved totally fine all through Christmas and when I was away and as soon as I came back within a day or two my skin has been acting weird it's been very dry and I actually had a cystic pimple on my chin nothing related to the product I just wanted to tell you a bit about what's been going on with my skin so my skin kind of will ebb and flow through different um, it'll be really normal for a month and then sometimes it'll go really dry and then it'll go back to being even more normal and no no maintenance than it was before so I, that's just kind of an, an aside but I've been using this primarily in the morning I'll use this over a couple drops of a hyaluronic serum first pressed in so I'll do something like a toner eye serum four drops of provise and then I'll do three to four drops of this and then I'll go in with tinted moisturizer or uh, something like that my makeup routine okay several honest points on this product everybody's first impression of this seems to be like glowingly positive people are saying that it like changed their skin within like one to three uses that their skin is loving it staying super hydrated my experience has not been quite so profound I do think that it's nice I'm not finding that it's like a huge game changer for my skin at least right off the bat I don't think I've been using it long enough to tell if it's helping with hyperpigmentation or um, evening out with both of these products. I primarily smell chamomile now to any of you Also detect that as the primary note. It's kind of strange because it's not listed as the first scent in the line of scents in the ingredient list, but I, d I think that I have like a, a weird thing with chamomile. It smells very like powdery and almost it's not my most favorite scent in the world one of these I do think the face oil it's like a combination of chamomile and citrus. So I do like the scent of this slightly better than the scent of the balm. I'm not sure why the chamomile is so pronounced to me. Scent aside, I will say that the texture of this is lovely and I think because the particles of the chia oil as the all the literature describes it just absorbs so quickly i do find it to be nicely moisturizing and very nice particularly to use in the morning when i want to go in with makeup very soon after doing my skincare routine the balm i have not been using on my face i've been using this mostly to moisturize my hands before going to bed so i'll just scoop a little bit out and rub it on the back of my hands i think it's really nice for that I think it's a little bit too heavy to use on the face. It's definitely like a thicker balm, more like a spot treatment balm, not like an all over face balm like Mahalo Indigo or Lena Hansen Global Treasures. Those are much more like oily balms that I feel are better suited for occasionally using all over the face. I will also take this video as an opportunity to say that I have been coming across some interesting and provocative skincare literature and perspectives on the use of face oils and balms. If any of you follow Rococo Botanicals on Instagram, that's who I've started following and I've been kind of poking around on their pretty non-conventional approaches to skincare. So my thoughts on face oils and balms are kind of coming under review. Now, I'll probably do an updated video all on that at some point. I just kind of wanted to throw it in here as uh, something that I'm going through with respect to my approach to skincare. That said, I really have been enjoying this product. I will keep you guys updated with how it fares in my routine. What's I think more important too beyond my review is that I've just gotten so much positive feedback on social media about how much you guys are loving this box and that's amazing. I'm so happy that it seems to be such a profound game changer for many of you. From what I'm hearing in the comments, it sounds like across skin types, this product is faring really well for people. And I think it was a great way to start off the new year. So as always, if you are not a Beauty Heroes member and would like to subscribe, I always have a link down below in the description bar where you can subscribe to get 
this month, the Maya Chia box and the subsequent two boxes. I actually know the brand that's gonna be in February and I'm very excited. It's a brand I really like. There's a few new things in the Beauty Hero store. The Maya Chia highlight of the day, which is a cream highlighter that I'm super, super intrigued about. Beauty Heroes is also carrying their cleansing oil called the Great Cleanse. I'm curious about that too. I haven't tried it. As far as cleansing oils go, it's very affordable. It's $38. I'm like shutting horribly today. That seems like a great option. I think it comes in a pretty big bottle too. Beauty Heroes is now carrying the Uma Ultimate Anti-Aging Face Mask, which I can attest to being amazing. I have been trying a sample of that. They're also carrying Mahalo's Unveil Cleanser, which is very exciting. The Agent Nature Deodorant Formulated for Men, Vapor Eyeliner, and Persoma Bath salts. I think that's what those are. The Love More promotion for January is very good. With $125 purchase, you get a Lil Fox Mystic Awakening Rosemary Toning Mist. I think it's like a deluxe travel size. I The only thing I've ever tried from Lil Fox is the Kalahari Eye Serum sample. I'm very curious about the rest of the line, and they are available on Beauty Heroes, some of the ranges. If you're a Beauty Heroes subscriber, you get 15% off in the shop, always a nice incentive. And I am running a little bit late today, so I have to hop off and not ramble at all at this outro, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've been enjoying your new year, and I'll see you guys in my next video soon.